Hey YouTube, it's Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Barracuda Blade from Power Rangers Samurai or Super Samurai. So this is the main weapon of the Gold Ranger and it has been released in their sort of smaller roleplay style that we have going on. Um, I'm just going to quickly take a, a look at the packaging. Um, nothing much major, we just got a picture of the Gold Ranger down here. It says Barracuda Blade, it says what it does. You got the Super Samurai logo up here which is nice that they changed it to go with the show. And on the back it shows everything else in the line. Black box, spin sword, samurizer, uh, barracuda blade itself, and then a little advertisement for how all these things can combine with the uh, bazooka. And by all these things I mean everything but these two. And you got this cool super samurai logo here. So, that's about it. What you get with it is the barracuda blade, the sheath, and the sword, which you have to press the button and get out, and a hidden disc. So the hidden disc is nothing special, it's just red and stuff and what do they call it? Just a disc? I don't know. I don't remember what they call it in Samurai, actually. I don't really pay much attention. There's a hidden disc in Shinkenger. But so you get this small little blade and sheath. Um, here is the blade. Um, it's a pretty small size, uh, daggerish. Um, it is definitely smaller than the spin sword. Uh, the details on it aren't too bad. I actually think the blue paint they got on here was pretty nice. Um, kind of boring gray here. The gold paint here is not bad. And then you have this clear gold, yellow like blade, which looks fine. And the main feature of it is actually this, is that it lights up. Let me turn off one of these lights so you can see. It's kind of hard to see because of all the lights I have, but it lights up, which is actually pretty cool because it has gold power. But so, uh, that's actually pretty neat. That's all it does. There's no sounds, no clashing sounds, spinning sounds, whatever. Um, but it just lights up, which is actually kind of neat. Um, then you have the sheath here, which is the same thing, just like gray with blue uh, paint here. But the dark blue actually looks pretty nice but that's not bad. And then you just slide it in there like so. And it's actually uh, secured so you can't like swing it around or accidentally pull it out. And you have to push this button to open it up. So that's fine. Um, you can put the uh, disc on here and it spins. There's really no reason to because there's no like reflective gimmick on here. So it just spins and you're like yay. And then you can put it in here and then it looks all funny. But so yeah, um, this toy's okay. I mean, I know they used to make bigger roleplay weapons, and um, they do have uh, bigger ones, like, and by ones, I mean one really sword, which is the Mega Blade. Um, they've been releasing it at a smaller scale, which is slightly disappointing. It's not a terrible display piece, like if you just want to put it on your display, then it's not really that bad at all. Uh, especially with a smaller size, it actually makes it a little more convenient for displays. Um, but um, yeah. I don't remember, I'd never had the uh, Sankana Maru, so I think this is a little bit longer, maybe, I don't remember. But uh, this is certainly not a bad alternative if you just want a display piece. It's not the best for like a, a serious cosplay or people that are really into uh, show accurate or almost show accurate size. Um, but it's certainly not that bad in my opinion. Uh, I just got it because I'm a completist and because um, I like Gold Ranger things and uh, Shinken Gold things. And uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's really not a lot to say. It's just okay. Like if you're a fan of this uh, ranger and this weapon, then this isn't a bad display piece. But otherwise, maybe go for something else. But it's overall an all right toy for me. I'm not gonna say it's the worst thing to come out of the samurai toy line, but it's certainly not the best. But um, I get some mild enjoyment out of it, and I think that the uh, the lighting up gimmick is kind of cool. Wish it kind of had some sounds, but whatever. At least we got something for it. So yeah, overall, it's it's okay. Only recommend it if you really like the uh, weapon or character and want something to represent it on your shelf. So uh, that concludes a pretty short review. Uh, make sure to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And of course, as always, make sure to check out writersrangersrambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible. Till next time, it's Dawson Ryder, signing out.